Hi Stampers, welcome to another product spotlight by Snowberry Stampers. My name is Linda Goldhurst out of Orlando, Florida. And I, today I'm going to be spotlighting the Timeless Tropical Stamp Set. And so let's start with card number one. All right, so your parts and pieces, you've already got a uh, piece of the Bermuda Bay that has been run through the, the embossing folder. All right, so you've got the dies that you can go ahead and cut out your pineapple, the parts and pieces that you have. Um, the pineapple itself is cut out of the Daffodil Delight, and then there's a piece of Mango Melody, which you can take the framelit and trace, and then just glue it behind the Daffodil Delight. And I was always confused as to which way is up on a pineapple. And I was told that pineapples are good for you, so it's good for your heart. So you want the V's to be up like a heart. Uh, you're going to be cutting out the crown of the pineapple and sponging it. You have a piece of old olive cardstock. All right. You have a piece of black for the banner. And there is a piece of white, which has now eluded me on my desk. Oh, there it is. It's got a piece of sticky um, adhesive on the back. So run it through with your Aloha, and then just peel the backing off, and you can stick it right onto your black for that. Now, as far as the pineapple for the inside, which you can also do on the envelope, what I did is stamped, let's get that out here, I colored it, I colored the body with a yellow. This one happens to be crushed curry, all right, using the side of your marker. Then I took a little bit of pumpkin pie and just kind of touched around on the body of the pineapple. For the crown, I used Old Olive up at the top, and then I took a little bit of Pacific Point and just put a couple of little highlights in there. Let's stamp this on the envelope. And then, don't forget, once you use your markers, they do dry quickly, you wanna huff on it. And then go ahead and stamp and there you have a really pretty pineapple. All right, so that's card number one. All right, card number two is also using the pineapple. So the same applies here for the pineapple and for the crown. For the crown, you're using a piece of DSP. Uh, to change it up a little bit, and it's from the Timeless Tropical Bundle. Um, so I went ahead and cut that out with the framelit, and then also sponged that a little bit. I did sponge on top of this pineapple with a little bit of Mango Melody. The Hello is stamped in Old Olive, and... On this one, I flagged both ends and just did a single bow. On this one, I left it straight, did a double bow, and just flagged the one end. Okay. The inside also has a pineapple and a pineapple on the envelope. In this one, I just did pineapple um, pumpkin pie for the pineapple base, and that looks pretty as well. Okay. This... Um, I should say this is layered. This DSP is layered on a piece of old olive and then mounted on the Daffodil Delight and then just the white on the inside. All right, so card number two. Card number three was cased from Lisa Curcio. She's a Lakeland stamper. All right, so I've done, I've done it twice. So you have a long piece of Old Olive. That gets mounted on the card base, which is Old Olive as well. Mount that in the front, glue it down, and then glue the DSP on top of it, 
and then glue the white layer on top of that. Okay, making sure that your white is hidden by the flap. So there is no opening to this card, it's just this flap. All right, the um, palm trees I did with marker. So it's uh, early espresso on the trunk and then old olive marker and also the Pacific Point marker just to highlight. The greeting was stamped in early espresso. Now that greeting came out of Timeless Tropical, but the inside was from a um, celebration stamp set called Sending Your Thoughts. But you could put anything with that happy birthday or even just leave it blank. The um, burlap ribbon, even though it doesn't feel like a ribbon, it is a ribbon, and I put that down with glue dots, and then I mounted the greeting and the tree with dimensionals. All right, so you can see there's two different, they're pretty much exactly the same. Oh, and on this ribbon, you can pull it apart a little bit on the ends. Um, it's going to do that anyway, but you might as well assist it along and, and just have it frayed. So that just adds a little, little bit of texture. Okay, that's card number three. And card number four, already done two of them. All right, so you've got on your parts and pieces, you have a piece of D, the DSP and you have the frame already cut out for you. You want to put just a little bit of glue close to the opening around the edge so that you can mount this on. And then this is going to get popped up on dimensionals. For the background on the card base itself, lay the green down first, lay the old olive down first. This is also from the DSP, okay, really pretty. It's, it's a shame to hide that, but. So you want to put the green on the base and then the blue is just a little bit bigger. So you're going to overlap that on top of the green so that you've got an equal amount of white space all the way around. Then I've laid the ribbon down also with glue dots and then popped the frame up on dimensionals. The tree was also done with early espresso marker and then this one was done with um, old olive and garden green marker. Popped up on dimensionals as well but the base is just glued down. And then the key to the car is glued down once you've tied the ribbon around it. So when I put it up here and left it free floating and down here I've actually glued it down to the card itself. So either way. And then I have rest and relax. You deserve it inside. This one doesn't have anything yet. And this one I was playing with the flower. This one was done using the crushed curry marker and then I just did a little bit of pumpkin pie on the center. And I hope you enjoy using this Timeless Tropical stamp set. It really is a beautiful stamp set. So thanks again for participating in this month's product spotlight. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and happy stamping.